Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff back again with another Iron Maiden lesson. This one was requested by John Shaw. It's a good call, this one. I hadn't thought about doing this one before. Man on the Edge. Not one of the most well-known songs, but hopefully after this lesson, maybe we'll change that. Because, of course, this was one of the songs during the Blaze Bailey era of Iron Maiden. And uh, no, sadly, a number of Maiden fans did tend to shy away from these two albums. I don't know why. There were some good tracks on there, and Blaze Bailey isn't a bad singer. You know, let's face it, Iron Maiden wouldn't have hired him as a replacement for Bruce if he wasn't pretty good at doing the vocals. So let's give him some credit, maybe, and let's check out these albums. And especially, let's learn how to play Man on the Edge. If this is your first time coming to the channel and you are an Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Saxon, pretty much anything from that era, I'm trying to get round to them. Yes, I will be doing some UFO. I do promise you, John, there'll be some out there. Well, this really is the channel that you should be looking at. So why not do me a huge favour if you could? Click on that subscribe button. Click on that bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I'm posting anything new to the channel. And if you like it, let me know. Just click on that like button. All helps really to build up this channel. Gives me more freedom to really put some good lessons there for everybody. So if you could do your part, I'll do my part back as well for you. Anyway, enough of the plugs. Let's get into it and let me show you how to play Man on the Edge. So don't go away. Preview. So the song starts off with a clean guitar setting for Jan and Gears. And he's just playing through a series of chords that we'll just go through now. So he opens up with an A minor chord and he just strums that down and he holds that for two bars. And from there he's going to a C chord with an F added to the chord. And it sounds like this. Real nice chord and what I'm playing there is three on the A, three on the D, got an open G, then I've got one on the B string and then open E. Again, holds that for two bars. Then he's moving down to a D sus2 chord, which he just plays for one bar, again just strumming that. And he moves across to an E minor. And then back to the A minor. What we're going to do now, before we get into the more up-tempo beat, is just look at the lead line that is played by Dave Murray over that sequence. I'll just play it through. Okay. Uh, fairly easy to play this one. We're starting off on the G string, sliding into 9th fret on that G. And then we're working down, going to 7, 5, 4, all on the G string. Then we're going to bring in the 5 on the D, sliding it up to the 7. And then we repeat it. So we start. So we start off sliding up to the 9th fret on the G string from the 7, back to the 7, 5, 4, cross over to the D string and we're going to do a 5 to 7. And then we go back and we slide in again to that 9th fret and then we're just going to do 7 to 5. Then we back and we repeat. Okay, so we do that twice. And then the next one, we're gonna slide in again the same. We're gonna do that seven to nine, all the way down to the four. But we're just gonna play the five, and then we back and we repeat. 
So we are going to play that one uh, twice, and then we go back and repeat the nerve one we did right at the beginning. <laughs> I just want to mention just before we go into the up-tempo beat, behind the clean guitar and the lead that's being played by Dave Merritt, there is an overdub on the track where he's playing power chords just over the beginning on the one count. And you just let them ring out. So your first power chord is an A, then he goes to an F, then he goes to a D, to an E, and then to an A. So they are played behind that clean guitar while Dave Merritt is playing that nice little intro section. Right now we'll look at the intro riff before we get into the main verse. So I'll just play it through and then I'll break it down. <laughs> Right, so we start off with an open A string and going across to a double stop on the 7th fret on the D and the G string. And we got another open A going across to 5, double stop. Open A string again, then to a 2. Another open string and then back to the 5. So far. Next part, back again with the open a going to the double stop on the seven. Then we got another open A string. This time we're going to play a seven on the D and a five on the G. And then we've got another open A string. And then we're going to do a five on the D and a four on the G. We're doing the, do that twice. Another open A string and then to double stop on the 5 on the D and G. So the final part. And then we repeat. So we play that through, and then we are into the verse section where Blaze Bailey starts the vocals. So let's go and check that part out now. So I'll just play through the opening section of the verse, which goes like this. Okay. Uh, now, if you've ever played the number of the bees, see my video from previous times, this will look very, very similar into the way we are playing the progression. Now, what we do, we start on the A string and we are sliding in from the three to the five. And that's your rhythm. Then we're gonna pick up the four on the uh, D string, so we get. Back to that same rhythm, so we're pedaling back to that 5 fret on the A string each time. Then we're going to play 5 on the D, and this time we're going to play... We get this... And then up to the 7 on the D string. Put that all together. The next part, all we're going to do, we're just going to move down a string and repeat the same thing all over again. So I'm going to be on the E string, sliding from three to five, then to the four, five, and then to the seven, and then repeat. then down to the E string. Now that rhythm that you're hearing that we're playing this that is the predominant rhythm in this song. 
uh, all of the rhythmic parts that I'm playing will be centered around that except for one little part in the middle. So once you crack that, you're gonna find the rest of the song very, very easy to play. So that is the first part of the verse. Let's just move on now to the second part of the verse, which goes like this. Okay, you can see the same rhythm that we just looked at. Uh, what we're doing, we're doing it on the open E. We're gonna play two bars of that. And then across to the C, so we're on third fret of the A string. We go back and we repeat that whole section three times. Going back to the E, two bars, one bar on the F and one bar on the C. Then we move into a D5 power chord, but we're playing exactly the same rhythm. So we go in. So we've moved up from that progression. We've got this bar here. We've got two bars on a D5. And then we move into this, which is the end of the verse section. And we've got this movement. And from there we move up to a D5 chord, which we're gonna play for two bars with the same rhythm. And we're gonna move up to an E5 power chord, but we've got a change of rhythm, and we've also got a movement around that chord, which goes like this. Really, if you've played kind of status quo boogie before, this will be very, very easy to play. But it's got a bit of a stretch, what we're playing. Now, we're playing this over an E5 chord. Now, let me play it nice and slow. So what we're doing there, we start off on the E5 and we put our little finger then onto the 10. Lift the finger up and we're stretching it down to the 12. Lift the finger up, back to the 10, and then back to the E5. Take the finger off, so we're playing seven, seven, and then back to the E5 again. So again, really nice and slow. And from there we go into the chorus section, which is just really mainly power chords. So as we come out of that sequence there up on the E5, we're gonna to go to an A5 power chords. So we get. And you're gonna hold that for two bars, then down to an F5 power chord. Or to a D5 power chord. And then we've got this for two bars. So I'm just playing on the A string, I'm doing a five to a seven with the usual rhythm. Back to the A for two bars, for the F, to the D. Now we go back to that five to seven, but we're gonna play it twice as long, so we're playing it over four bars. And from there, we go straight back into the verse sequence, which is that. So as I've said, from there, we go back to a verse. Really, what we're gonna do, we're gonna play everything that we have just covered, where we go into the power chords with the raised tempo. We play that all the way through, all over again, right up to the point where we just finished. Right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna look at the fixed, part of the guitar solo played by Yannick Gears. 
So I'll just play through the first part and then we'll break it down. Now, this pattern, we're going to play the same sequence as we move up the fretboard. So the first one starts off with a double stop on the 7th fret. And we're going to start with the D string 7, pull uh, then to the 10th fret on the A string, pulling off to the 7. Then we're going to play 9 on the D, pulling off to the 7 on the D, and then to the 7 on the A. And we move to the 10 on the D, pulling off to the 7, and then finishing on the 7 on the A. Back to the 9 on the D, pull off to the 7, finishing on the 7. And then the same thing again, which was the 7 on the D, to the 10, pulling off to the 7. And we repeat that. Then we're going to move this whole pattern up two frets. So we are up on the ninth fret. So everything we've done is moved up two frets. So we get this nine. Which is just bringing in nine on the D, 12 to the seven on the A, and then 11 to the nine on the D, always returning back to that nine. And then we get 12 to the nine, the seven, and then 11 to the nine, back to the seven, and then nine, 12. Then we're gonna move again, up to the 12th fret, same pattern, exactly the same pattern, but now on the 12th fret. So we get, We'll stop on the 12, and it is 12 D, 15 to the 12, and then 14 on the D, pulling off to the 12, to the 12, the A, and then 15 pulling off to the 12, 12 on the A, back to the 14, to the 12, and then 12 on the D, 15 on the A, pulling off. So we do that twice. And we're going to move up to the 14th fret. Same sequence again. So we get repeat. So that is just 14 on the D to 17 on the A, pulling off to 14. 16 on the D, pull off to 14. And then to the 14. 17 on the D, pull off to 14. Back to the 14. Again, 16. Pull off, 14, finishing on the 14, and then D14, 17A. Now this one here on the 14, we're going to play that four times. And from there, we are now going to play each one of the sequences just once. Now when we get to the 14, that one we are going to play four times. And from there, we go into the guitar solo by Yannick Gears. So that is the fixed solo. What we're going to do is look at what Dave Murray is doing behind the actual guitar solo by Yannick. So I'll just play through the rhythm. Okay, we're starting off on a B5. So we're on the A string on two and four, and we're just playing this rhythm. All on the B5, so it's... And then we play an A5 to a C sharp five, which is up on the fourth fret. Back to the A5, and then we're back to And that plays all of the way through Yannick Gears' solo. From Yannick Gears' solo, it goes into Dave Murray's solo. So again, let's have a look at the rhythm played behind that. 
Now this is very similar to what we've just been playing, but what we're doing now, we're moving up to an E5 chord. So I get this. Now that one is just slightly different in the fact we don't go and play the eighth beat. So we get this. Then we go down to a D5, to an F sharp. So we're going from five fret up to nine fret. Back to the D5, back to the E. Now at this point, we have covered all of the parts for the song, because from here, it goes straight back to this. That section plays all the way through. In fact, what it does, it just plays everything that we've covered right the way up to Yannick Gacy's solo. And that takes us to the end of the song. Now, all of the information for the song will be included in the tablature and the links for that will be found down below. So if you're unsure of any part, just make sure you've got the tablature in front of you. You'll have no problems because we've covered every single riff in this song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Man on the Edge. Really fun tune. I know it's not one of the most popular songs. In fact, sadly, people tend to shy away from that Blaze Bailey era of Iron Maiden. I'm not too sure why, because there were some really good songs on there. I know it wasn't Bruce, but you know, the man is a great singer, so he is. So check them two albums out, do yourself a favor. Listen to them. If there's anything on their albums that you'd like me to check out and show you how to play, just drop me a note. Well, I'm gonna let you go. Until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker wishing you well. Speak to you again soon. Until then, goodbye.